the girl scene I think has kind of been kind of sugar-coated a bit it's very very bubblegum they're yeah. not really bringing off strong strong messages I don't really see like a big fan base of girls repping the hip-hop grime scene going yeah they're saying no to waste men do you know what I mean they're saying mums do your thing whether you've got a baby daddy there or not do you know what I mean like you know what I'm saying girls get money do you know what I'm saying don't just sit there and be dependent do you know what I mean and I just feel like that is a, that is a big message to me that I think is missing do you know what I'm saying these for them get anything they want Divas, please leave the fucking building. Some girl can't be a diva. They're a deceiver. When the real diva they get. The guy said ice cream at Biella. Oh my god, ice cream at Matbiella like. <laughs> and the one before that, the guy huh? before that with the shopping trolley. Oh the guy before that he said, God damn! Bootylicious! <laughs> That's a lot of drugs in that trip. <laughs> it's an American dude, you get me? Yeah. Loving the divas. <laughs> Matbiella! Is that that queen booty? <laughs> <laughs> Like, was there any like major like figures growing up that like were like very musical around you or anything? Um, yes, yeah, loads of people. Yeah, we've had it. We've had a good few people. Loads, loads of people musical. from Northwest. Yeah. yeah. My uncle's friend was General Levy. When we was you know, up. when we was growing up. Yeah. <laughs> Who don't know General Levy? Do you know what I mean? My dad was in a band. Yeah. Um, he's in Rough Touch. He's in Rough Touch band. Yeah. So we we kind of got my mum was my mum was always into music as well. So we was we, we listened to a lot of different music, a lot of different styles of music as well. Like from Sam Cooke go right back. You know, everyone's got their Sunday. Music and when we as used well. to be in precinct as well, and we used to hang around with all of like our friends back in the day. Like they used to MC and everything. We used to be at play center and everyone used to MC. Although we never used to rap at that time, time it was still around us. Everybody around us was doing music. Do you know what I mean? You know Gappy from school, Tubby T. Please. Like there's just so much people around us doing music. Yeah. Loads. Pink. pink on pink. You see me? So explain like the um, phrase Akodiva. Is that something that you two brought to the game? Yeah, it's just like crank it up in it. Do you know let's what I mean? Let's you get know, a like up your let's fever. Start. Let's get a definition. Your... What does up your diva mean? What does it mean to up your diva? Up your diva is like basically saying up your game in it. Everything. Up your it could be up your up get your money up, up your style, up your keep talking, hair game. <laughs> Everything, everything, everything that you can think of, girly, that you do, but we do it a bit more. Is that the right way to say it? Yeah, like when mean? someone normally says that you're a diva, like, you know, they normally, it's normally like a strong woman who always goes in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who demands a lot, she's all about her money and whatever, and we're saying up your diva. Yeah, because so a diva is a female version, version of, of a hustler. hustler. So basically, if you're up in your feet, up in your diva, you're basically getting your shit together. Do you know what I mean? Exclusive. Exclusive. Every day upon the block! Shout out to you, girls, all today. Most definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Making those videos. Crazy visuals. Yeah. I'm telling you. Zero degrees. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's minus. It could be a right or die chick. Big bum, big breasts with them white hips. And you love the way I write it. Love the way you say my name when you're up inside it. And baby, you can trust me. All right, shotgun banging at the enemies. And I'll be counting them stacks. And if they come on shore, we can go and get it back, get the strap. I'm killing bitches for 
fun I'm a female dun 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 Hated for being rated Still confronted by none Can't see nothing but the number one spot I'm going in daily on the block Queen ice cream's got this thing on lock I won't stop going till I drop Can you know say the deed for them? Response to every ghetto girl around the world. You understand? And them supposed to a real diva. You understand? We've always been into hip hop. Always love hip hop. Always love rap and whatever. Um, but like a what? About a year and a half ago, maybe a bit longer now. Coming up to what? Two years? Yeah. Nearly coming up just to two years. Just say every positive. No, every negative, negative can bring a positive. positive. Yeah. Just because call it that. how we came in the rap game, we didn't actually do it to start doing music. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. Even though. <laughs> Can't say it was positive, but it, we came in like a bit. It was on. It was on a vibe. Maybe the way how the tune, the, the tune was actually a diss track, so it yeah. was a negative. No comment bars. So that was our first rap ever written. Everything, everything. Real talk. Nothing before that. Just those bars. Just the no comment <laughs> bars. Just the diss track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. As it was a diss track already. Do you know what I mean? Still trying to get with her. <laughs> Are you not talking green? No, I'm just talking that smack. <laughs> <laughs> Diva Ash here. I'm in North West London today with my fucking main ladies here. So, ladies, they introduce yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's gross. Who's the biggest diva? The biggest diva? Mm. Ice cream. Queen the ice cream. Awards. <laughs> you better accept the awards. Sip for that queen, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. for a reason. Except for your telly that. You know what I mean? That's a diva. Oh, you're yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about meeting up. Like, how did you two meet up? How did we meet up? We're sisters. Oh, you're sisters? <laughs> yeah. We're sisters. So, who's the oldest? <laughs> I was about to say me again. No, because everyone always asks, thinks I'm the oldest one. I speak older. Oh, what food? I'm the eldest. Sisters? Yeah. So let's see, are there any sisters in rap? In? In rap. Are there any sister groups in rap? I'm trying to think. I don't know. No. No. I don't think so, no. I think we might be the first. We're, we're the first. It's two sisters to be rapping. Same mum, same dad. Diva twins. Yeah. I ran in my yard. I ran in my yard. Look at my clothes, what I got on there. Yeah? I ran in my yard, came up for the video, and I was saying, nah, I don't want to wear, I had on true religion jeans that didn't go with the top in it. Yeah? So I said, let me quickly put on the track two bottoms that go with the top in it. Cool. Five off, yeah. minutes. When we was driving out to go like to maths, oh, let me get a chicken nugget happy meal. <laughs> girl scene I think has kind of been kind of sugar coated a bit it's very very bubblegum they're yeah. not really bringing off strong strong messages I don't really see like a big 
fan base of girls repping the hip-hop grind scene going, yeah, they're saying no to waste men. Do you know what I mean? They're saying, mums, do your thing whether you've got a baby daddy there or not. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Girls, get money. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't just sit there and be dependent. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like that is a, that is a big message to me that I think is missing. Do you know what I'm saying? is that to you girls next style? It's very important. We love visuals, <laughs> good visuals. We, yeah, we just like, yeah. We like fashion. I've always liked fashion. And I think it's good to put it with, it's, especially if you're doing the right type of music, it's good to make your stamp in the music game, especially with fashion. This is all rappers do it, because you know Nicki Minaj for her fashion, even the men you know for their fashion. Do you know what I mean? So. What are you saying, ice cream? Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> and this is just us as well, because we just like it. Math does loads of designing and all of that. Do you get me? And ladies should look good. Yeah. Heel gang. Heel gang. <laughs> Hi, heel gang. Yeah. Heel gang. Do you know what I mean? So talk us through these outfits, ladies, because you two are here, like the style, you like icon. <laughs> of our industry right now. I don't see any other girl in the industry with the fashion these ladies have. So can you just talk us through it? No. Me first? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, my earrings are Butler Wilson. Butler Wilson. <laughs> Butler Wilson again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, office. No Clare. Yeah. No Clare's. <laughs> it's tight shot called again. Big tight shot. <laughs> Give me 50 for these. Get it. Diva, Diva, sir, you feel me? Diva, Ashnose. Miss Queen Ice Cream, let's go. Yeah, same jewelry by Butler. She's from Kirkland, 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 Kirkland. Yeah. Give me that little Diva swag. Diva swag, you know what I mean? Well, who like do you know that really is really repping like how we go how we're repping in the female rap scene that you can say now? Like who does that? That puts out before we stepped in the game, who was really doing it? It's like everyone was forgotten that the females are here, do you know what I mean? Obviously everyone you can do your rap music and that, but we have actually approached the game completely different. Plus we're sisters. Do you know what I mean? I don't know two other sisters. Rap we're a duo basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean?